I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision you make during the Charleston impacts the next. You can be focused on one thing at the beginning of the Charleston and be in something completely different at the end. So we'll do two iterations and we'll choose a direction to go for each one and compare results. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes testing your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise. I will get 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Joker, Flower, Pair of Dragons, Green Dragons, East, 2, 4, 9 in Dots with a Pair of Fours, 1, 2, 5 in Bams, 1, 8 in Cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples, dragon and four. We could do something consecutive, maybe two through five, or we could do evens, two, four, six, eight. There is actually a hand with the opposite dragon. We have a gap, no six crack, but we could maybe use this because the shape is pair pair pung pung we might be able to use that and that way we could use those dragons the other thing i was thinking is maybe we could try consecutive run with dragons let's keep the five just in case and the eight if we're playing two four six eight i would keep the two so we're in between consecutive run, maybe evens. We do have tiles we can pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand or a category for that matter. Let's pass these. Take a photo so you can recreate that pass. We picked up a consecutive tile. We also have a new multiple. This is when I reassess. So we have one eight, two four, two three five. One, two, three, four, or one through five, two through five. We could still maybe do that even hand, but we have a gap. We have a lot of gaps actually, one way or another, but we have to pass. I think consecutive run is far more flexible. So Let's see. I'm still thinking this two, four, six, eight hand, even though we have a gap, we can use that. So we have two, four, eight dragon. We have fours. Let's break up the one and stick with two, four, six, eight. We'll take a photo of that. We picked up a flower. Now we have two flowers. I was thinking if we could get a four bam and a white dragon, we could maybe play like numbers with dragons, or maybe we could play a quint right here. So we have two, four, six, eight potential still. We wouldn't be able to use these. 
that hand I'm talking about is a second hand down under evens. So we have two, three, four, one, three, three, four. Here's something. Two, three, four. Second hand down on the right under consecutive run, no gaps. We'd have to let the dragons go, but we could use the flowers and we can pass tiles. So let's go ahead and keep all these, pass these. We'll take a photo of that. So we have two, 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 three, two, four, eight, dragon, and now a pung. I think at this point I would maybe focus on a quint and just try to build up. Two, four, six, eight, Kong of Dragons. Let's let these go. That two, four, six, eight hand could still work. We'd have to let the, the flowers go though. All right, now we have, oh, this is interesting. We have a six and an eight. Two, four, six, eight. I think this hand wanted to be evens. There's no gaps in there. I would give up that eight and maybe still use these for a potential quint. Two, four. Okay, let's let these go. Let's take a photo of that. We did pick up the dragon. Dragons, two, three, four, four, five, six dragons. There's that consecutive run concealed hand. The middle number of the sequence of three is a pair though. And we don't have a three dot or a five dot building around that four. So we have to make a choice right now. We're on last right. Last right, we could actually pass two and just keep it all. Let's do that. Oh, we got a four. I'm thinking maybe like numbers with fours. We don't have a white dragon though. Four, one, one, two, four, six, eight. Fours. I don't think we need that one. And we could play two, three, four opposite dragons, four, five, six opposite dragons. We could play two, four, six, eight. Let's keep the dragons and pass two for optional cross. Oh, look at that. We got the eight back. Two, four, six, eight dragons. Two, four, six, eight dragons. We have one discard for sure. And then we'd have to make a choice. Two, four, six, eight in one suit. There's no gaps and we have our single and pair. That might be the strongest way to go. And then discard these, hold this for joker bait, middle wall, discard one, see if anybody wants it. Two, four, six, eight might be the best, but look at all these discards. I think what I would do is I just had a thought. We could switch to a year hand with dragons. Use this as joker bait and discard these. Dragons. Pair of flowers, dragons, year tiles, joker bait, 
discards. That might actually be better. We have, even though we still have six discards, we have a more reasonable joker bait there rather than getting rid of all those. All right, well, let's try another iteration and let's focus instead of two, four, six, eight, let's focus on consecutive and see how it goes. This is what we started with, and I got the Charleston right. I forgot to take photos on two of the passes. So if you do this exercise at home, remember to take photos of your passes so you can recreate it. All right, so we're ready to go. We're going to focus on consecutive run this time. So let's hold the dragons and the four, and let's keep two through five. Two through five, we'll pass those. So let's let these go right here. So we're focused on a range of two through four with or without those dragons. We got a three. Here's two, three, four, two, three, four, two, four. Here's a five. So we'll keep those. We did pick up a pair, but I think, let's see, our four. We're not going to be able to go from one to four with these tiles. Now, if we had a two crack and a three dot, we could, but I think two through four is stronger than one through th four. One, two, three, one, two, three. We do have one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's let that five go. Let's see what happens. Flower. We did pick up a three. A three dot would have been better. Three crack, not good. Okay, one, two, three. Two, three, four, five. We have flowers though. I wanna use those. And I just don't know if we're going to be able to use these. I'm almost thinking we should break up the dragons. Keep one through four. Because we could do one, two, three, mix suits, second hand down. So let's break up the dragons. And we got a dragon. But we also have a two. One, two. One, two, two, three, two, four dragons. So let's pass one, one, two, three. The flowers would be helpful if we can use them. That's why I'm thinking one, two, three. One, two, 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 four. Let's let the two go. Oh wait, we wanted that two for one, two, three. Okay, so let's let the two bam go. Little risky. Okay, now we did not get any keepers. Five, one, two, three, one, two, two, four, six, eight. Here's that two, four, six, eight now. This hand just really wants to be a two, four, six, eight hand. Let's let the two crack go. We could still do one, two, three with these. That's two, four, six tiles versus seven. 
I think 2468 is the way to go. Oh, well, that's interesting. We're even now. One, two, three. We're kind of in between. Let's pass two. We got a four and a one. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Oh, well, look what we got, though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We would have to discard three pair to keep one. I wouldn't do that. I would let that go, and I would let that go, and focus on either one, two, three flowers, or two, four, six, eight. Let's pass two for optional. <laughs> we got the two. One, two. No, I don't think that's going to be helpful, though. We're in between consecutive run and two, four, six, eight. Same results, six discards, joker bait. This hand, I think, really lends itself to two, four, six, eight. We have no gaps. We just need to build up flowers, six and eight. Save these for middle game. See if we could get a joker through discarding. Someone makes an exposure with a joker. We could maybe use those to obtain jokers to help with two, four, six, eight. This hand wanted to be a two, four, six, eight hand. It tried really hard to be consecutive. And we could still go that way. Actually, here we're giving away two pair versus giving away one pair. I think either way, I would still keep them. Discard those, see what happens. This might be the better way to go. Two pair versus one pair. Well, with the flowers, of course, so it's, that's the common denominator. This was a tough one. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. When you get your dealt tiles, first identify the strength of the hand. Build around strength, whether it be multiples or the predominant pattern. If you're in between categories or hands, that's where your instincts come in. If you have a set of tiles at home, try Charleston Chain Reaction to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.